FDA finds forever chemicals in an array of commonly bought groceries. The Food and Drug Administration's first broadcasting of food for war reasons last of non-stick, stain-resistant industrial compounds found substantial levels in some grocery store meats and seafood and in off-the-shelf chocolate cake. According to a release findings FDA researchers presented at a scientific conference in Europe, the staff disclosure is likely to add to concerns raised by state and public health groups that President Donald Trump's administration is not acting fast enough or firmly enough to start regulating the man-made compounds called forever chemicals. A federal toxicology report last year cited consistent associations between very high levels of the industrial compounds in people's blood and health risks, but said there was not enough evidence to prove the compounds as the cause. The levels in nearly half of the meat and fish tested were double or more. The only currently existing federal advisory level for any kind of the widely used man-made compounds, which are called current oligoluyl substances, or fans. The level in the chocolate cake was higher, more than 250 times the only federal guidelines, which are for some fat and drinking water. Food and Drug Administration's spokeswoman Tara Robin said Monday that the agency thought the contamination was not likely to be a human health concern, even though the test succeeded the sole existing federal fat recommendations for drinking water. As a handful of fat contaminations of food emerge around the country, authorities have seen some a health concern but not others. The agency considers each discovery of the compound in food case by case, including the kind of food, levels of contamination, frequency of consumption and latest scientific information, Rodin says. Measuring fat concentrations in food, estimating dietary exposure and determining the associated health effects is an emerging area of science, the FDA said. And put into use for tough non-stick footwear, now exists in an estimated 5,000 variety. Industries use the product to keep breeze, water and stains off countless consumer items, including in food packaging, carpets and couches, dental floss and outdoor gear. The chemicals also are found in firefighting foam, which the Department of Defense calls irreplaceable in suppressing jet fuel fires. Especially around military bases and fast facilities, decades of use has built up levels in water, soil and some treated food sludge used to fertilize non-organic food crops and feed for livestock. Over the past two years, the federal toxicology review last year concluded the compounds are more dangerous than previously thought. Same consistent studies of exposed people suggest associations with some kinds of cancers, liver problems, low birth weight and other issues. Because the tough compounds are predicted to take thousands of years to degrade, and because older versions have been found to accumulate in people's bodies, that has acquired the name forever chemical. The Environmental Protection Agency earlier established an unbending health advisory threshold of 70 parts per trillion for two phase out forms of the contaminant in drinking water. Trump's EPA said it would consider setting mandatory limits instead in the wake of the federal toxicology report and after federally mandated water sampling found high levels in many drinking water systems around the country. The administration has called dealing with fast contamination a potential public relations nightmare and a national priority. In patient for federal action, several states have moved to regulate the chemicals on their own, including setting standards for groundwater or drinking water. In the FDA study, conducted in October 2017, researchers oversaw market baskets, testing for more than a dozen fats, drawing on samples of food on sale in three undisclosed mid-Atlantic cities. FDA researchers discussed the results at the annual conference by the Society of Environmental Toxicology and Chemistry in Helsinki, Finland, last week. Two environmental groups, the Environmental Defense Fund and the Environmental Working Group, obtained written results and charts from the FDA presentation and provided them to the Associated Press. Fox, an older form of fat no longer made in the U.S., turned up at levels ranging from 134 parts per trillion to 865 parts per trillion in Thailapia, chicken, turkey, beef, cod, salmon, shrimp, lamb, catfish and hot dogs.
Prepare chocolate cake tested at 17,640 parts per trillion of the kind of fast calls type. The FDA presentation also included what appeared to be previously unrecorded. Findings of fat levels when spiking over 1,000 parts per trillion in leafy green vegetables grown within 10 miles, 15 kilometers, of an unspecified eastern U.S. fat plant and sold at a farmer's market. In its statement, the FDA noted studies suggesting newer forms may also pose a health risk. It said it was working with other federal agencies to determine appropriate next steps. What this calls for is additional research to determine how widespread this contamination is and how high the levels are. Linda Byronbaum, director of the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, said separately in an interview. We have to look at total human exposure not just what's in the water or what's in the food or not just us. We need to look at the sum totals of what the exposures are. Byron Bum added, nobody is exposed to just one form of fat in isolation. You're exposed to a whole mixture. Has made North Carolina one of the focuses of study for exposures. Drinking one glass of contaminated water is unlikely to be associated with health risks, as is eating one slice of contaminated chocolate cake, the wood said. Individually, each item is unlikely to be a huge problem, but collectively and over a lifetime, that may be a different story. Sally Brown, a University of Washington researcher who supports the use of treated foods flush by agriculture, said that fat findings were not a major concern. If you are worried about this type of compound it makes sense to bend the Twitter and the dental floss treated with fat, Brown said. Near Fayetteville, neighbors of the Timor fat. Facility are making plans for a 4th of July parade float dedicated to warning others just how likely fat was turning up in the area. The float will feature men fishing in a contaminated pond and vegetables growing in a contaminated garden, said Michael Waters, who lives a mile, 1.6 kilometers, from the plant. Waters said he has stopped consuming well water and vegetables from his own land. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.